this is a star that will explode any time now. I know this for sure because we have already observed it going on a rampage in 1800s. Previously a fourth magnitude star. It brightened in 1837 to become brighter than Rigel, marking the start of so-called Great Eruption. It became the second brightest star in the sky between 11 to 14 March 1843 before fading well below naked eye visibility after 1856. Then again, in a smaller eruption, it reached sixth magnitude in 1892 before fading again. But it has been brightening consistently since about 1940 becoming brighter than magnitude 4.2 by 2018 and now it's around four levels. The star is called Eta Corina and one day it won't just go out with a bang, it will unleash one of the most powerful explosions the universe is capable of, possibly a hypernova. You have never seen one before. In fact, no human has. But if you are lucky enough, you might actually witness it with your naked eyes. No telescopes, no space stations, just you looking up, watching a star die. Actually, it's a binary system. The primary star is a luminous blue variable, initially over 150 to 250 times the mass of the sun, unstable and burning through its fuel at a terrifying rate. This thing is so massive that it should not even exist. The star has already lost around 30 solar masses in the last eruption. The secondary star is around 30 to 80 times as massive as the sun. It's bloated, turbulent and surrounded by a cloud of weird glowing gas, the Homunculus Nebula, blasted out during a previous outburst. It's one of the most chaotic objects we have ever discovered. It is possible that there were a third star in the system. And during the last eruption, the three-body system became unstable, causing the third star to sling away in distance, while the primary and secondary star ribbed each other in the great eruption, creating the hourglass-looking nebula. During the eruption, it became the second brightest star in the sky, almost brighter than Sirius. For over 20 years, it blazed like a supernova, but it didn't die. It dimmed again. Scientists now believe what we saw was a supernova imposter, a violent eruption that ejected massive amounts of material but left the star intact. Think about that. A star exploded and survived. And here's the terrifying beauty of it all. Eta Carina is still building pressure. Astronomers know that it won't be able to contain itself forever. The only question is when. The name Eta Corina is quite simple. Eta just means it was once the seventh brightest star in the Carina constellation, which lies in the southern skies. That constellation was originally part of Agronavis, named after the mythical ship of Jason and Agronauts. But there is nothing mythical about Eta Corina's future. Its explosion is not an if, it's when you might be wondering should we be scared not really let's be honest it's complicated when eta carina finally goes supernova or possibly a hypernova it may release a gamma ray burst the deadliest form of energy known in the cosmos if that beam were pointed directly at earth it could in theory strip part of our atmosphere and wreak havoc on life but based on what we know, the axis of that deadly beam is not aimed at us. So no, we are probably not in danger. Also, it's 7500 light years away, so we should be safe. Instead of doom, what we are most likely to get is a light show. One so bright you might see it during the day. Imagine walking outside and seeing a new star in the sky so bright it casts a shadow. That's what Eta Corina's death could look like. For weeks, maybe even months, it could shine like the second moon. And the best part, you won't need any equipment. No telescope, no fancy filters, just your eyes and the sky. But here's where it gets frustrating. We don't know when this will happen. Eta Corina could blow any time in the next few hundred years or it could surprise us tomorrow. We have seen strange changes in its temperature, brightness and radiation patterns. The star is clearly unstable. So what can you do? First, know where to look. Eta Corina lies in the southern skies, in the Corina constellation. It is best viewed from the southern hemisphere. Places like Australia, Chile, South Africa. 
Well visible year-round from location south of 30 degrees south latitude, find the Southern Cross. This is the key navigational point. Locate the four red stars forming the iconic cross shape. Draw a line perpendicular from the line connecting Acrux and Delta Crucius. Follow this line about 5 degrees in the direction away from the other two stars in the cross. You should arrive at the Carina Nebula, a large patch of light that's easily visible to the naked eye under dark skies. Once you've found the Carina Nebula, Eta Carina is the brightest orange star near its center. It's comfortably visible to the naked eye in all but the most light polluted skies. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, it's trickier. For most of us, it never rises high enough in the sky to be seen. But if the explosion is powerful enough, even Northerners might catch it near the horizon. Now, I'll give you a task. If you're watching from the Southern Hemisphere, try to find it tonight and share a picture in the community section of the channel. I'll keep an eye out and hopefully you'll be watching too.